comes out, and whoever used this last did clean it out very good. It's probably me. I probably did a demo and didn't clean up after myself. But there shouldn't be clay falling out of it like that if it's cleaned correctly. You want to use nice, soft, fairly new clay. It doesn't have to be new. It can be recycled as long as it's soft. Okay. So now what I'm trying to do is get this to be about the same size as this tube is and then slightly smaller than it so that it fits in there. Okay. And I'm just going to rip this in half and I'll do two. So setting this up, this little ring is what holds your dies. These are called dies, by the way. A die has a shape cut out of it. Okay. So you put your die inside here, and then when you push the clay through this tube using this arm, it's going to shoot out solid triangle shapes if you choose this one. Okay? And it's kind of cool because I don't know if you're going to need triangles, but if you want to make something out of a bunch of triangles, you, you, cut, you make this long uh, coil of triangles, and then you slice them up, little half, uh, half inch thick triangles, and then you could make a bowl out of a whole bunch of triangles. Score and slip it together. You got this cool triangle bowl. I don't know. Maybe something you want to do. I don't know. Okay, but if you want to make this hollow, then you need to have this shape and you need to add this to it. And so there is a little butterfly nut on the end of this bolt here that needs to be taken off, removed. And then you need to find a triangle that is going to create the thickness of wall that you want. So let me set this down for just a second. So if I put this triangle in here, the walls on that triangle are going to be super thick. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want it to be a little bit thicker so it's going to have a little bit more strength. So that I'm not going to use the biggest triangle. I'm going to use this, the next one, the medium size. So I put this in here, and now you can see that the walls, instead of being about a quarter of an inch thick, or an eighth of an inch thick, excuse me, are now about a quarter of an inch thick. Okay? So that, to me, looks fairly strong. That's what I'm going to use. So then I'm just going to set this down for a minute. I'm going to put this triangle on that nut, that's the bolt, excuse me, that's coming up. And then you have to screw the butterfly screw on here. And anybody that knows anything about nuts and bolts is if it's not screwing on, don't force it. It's not threaded correctly. You need to make sure that you're putting this on correctly so that it doesn't strip the threads on the bolt. Because once that bolt is stripped, I have to replace it. It can be replaced, but it's a lot of work that I would rather not have to do. So if it feels like the butterfly screw is not going on, stop, back it off, clean it maybe if you need to clean it, or just make sure that it's on correctly, okay? So we don't strip that bolt. Now, when I set this on, these little circles right here have to match up with the circles that you're seeing right here. So I'm gonna rotate that, and then I'm gonna rotate my little triangle in here so that it matches up with the die so that the circles line up with the circles and the triangle lines up with the triangle so there's a couple things that you have to match up okay all right then i need to make it so that this circle lines up with this circle and the inside circle lines up so it's three circles that need to line up and then there are these little pins that go through all three of those circles and once you have one lined up all of the other ones should line up and once you have two pins in you no longer have to hold this and now i have all three circles lined up and i'm just making sure that my triangle is lined up and kind of centered as well because it does move <coughs> a little bit as you're putting it in there okay so the the this little um shelf if you will is locked on because of these pins that center piece that's holding the triangle is locked in place because the pins are going through those holes that we had. So everything's now aligned in the way it needs to be. Now I need to grab a nice soft piece of clay and you drop it down inside the tube like that, okay? Then you need to line this up so that the circle that is the top part 
fits inside the tube, and then you want to go to the next groove that you can. Sorry, it's all dusty, full of, full of dust. And then you want to start to kind of use leverage to push this down. And the first time that I'm doing this is pushing a lot of air out that was kind of trapped in there. Then I'm going to pull that bar out and move it down one or two, depending on how tall I am. Okay? And now it's going to actually start to squeeze out the clay shape. So as it's squeezing out, I'm going to help direct it because it wants to try to curve on me. And you're going to hear air bubbles popping, and that's OK. I did wedge this clay pretty good, but sometimes there is air trapped in there. So it's extruding this long, hollow triangle. And then right here, it's no longer going down. Please don't hang on this. Oh, it's not going anywhere. It's not a jungle gym, <laughs> OK? We're supposed to be hanging on it. I've hit the bottom. I can't go any further. You don't want to force anything, OK? So like, if it's not going, there's some reason why it's not going. Because the clay, if it's soft, it should easily move on, OK? And I know some of this sounds like common sense, but if I cover it correctly, this won't, this won't get broken, OK? So then I need to take this off, and I'm just going to take a fettling knife and cut it off. And now you can see that I have a hollow triangle. Land ho, mateys! Just kidding. Whatever. Tough crowd, man. Tough crowd. <laughs> okay, so then you would want to get a board, and you would want to set this on the board. <coughs> and then you can bend it, you can curve it, you can put this in front of the fan for a little while. And then, sorry, so I don't get clay all over here first. As long as your tool is fairly clean and this is fairly stiff, you should be able to come back in here and cut little triangles off of this. And then you can make things out of these triangles. I could score and slip these together and I could make like a geodesic dome or something. I don't know. Have fun with it. Get into engineering. Get into whatever it is that you want to make with whatever shape you want. Okay. So there's all these different shapes. You can see you can make hollow squares, hollow circles, hollow triangles, solid, smaller circles, triangles, and squares. And then all of these smaller dies, so that you can see how it works, goes into the super duper clay gun. Okay? And not gun like shoot your gun, but gun like uh, in painting, painters have what's called an acrylic gun, and they usually put a tube in here, and it pushes out the acrylic so that they can put um, the acrylic around windows and different things like that. So this has kind of a stop in it that I'm going to remove, and then I need to, again, make sure that I make the clay small enough that it fits inside the gun. Okay, and so I am going to remove both halves, or both the top and bottom. So I remove the top, I'm removing the bottom so that there's not going to be air trapped in here too. Sorry, I just got clay under Thank you. Okay. So I'm just going to roll this just a little bit so I can get it to fit. Try not to drop this, because if we drop it, it's no longer true, plumb and straight. And then it might affect how it pushes things out. So you can see I keep having to adjust to make this fit inside there. That's what I needed. It to fit. Okay. Then I'm going to lift this so I don't smack my head on it. Put that down just so I don't run into it on accident. Okay, so then I'm going to grab a different cool shape. Let's do this one because maybe some of you want to make like hair or something. I don't know. So I'm going to put this one in here. So you put that in there, and this goes on one end. And again, make sure that you're putting it on straight so it doesn't um, strip the grooves. This little trigger right here allows this bar to go in or out. Okay? And then when it is all the way out, when you start to do this trigger, you can see that it pushes that bar forward. 
okay? And that's what you want it to do. I'm gonna have it all the way out. I'm going to have, kind of line it up, put it in there, and then screw this on. So now both ends are nice and tight, ready to go. And then you start to do this trigger, and then it's going to start to spit out. And there's some air in there, so it is squeezing air out too. <laughs> And then you can just rip it off, or you can um, cut it off. You can use these really thin coils for something. I don't know, some kind of designs that you want to put on the side of your piece, whatever. And so you can see I still have that much clay in there that I can use, that I can extrude out. So when you are done with using these, a couple things, and I'm not going to spend too much time on it. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. But this might be a little difficult to get out, so you might have to walk it up the grooves to remove it completely. You're going to want to take all the clay off of this so that it's cleaned off. Then you take the pins out. And what I do is I hang these pins on the board right away so that they don't get lost, because I no longer need them. This ring removes, and then you can just push down on that with your hand and you have some clay here to remove and you got to get that bottom piece off and I don't this doesn't have to be like taken to the sink and absolutely spotless okay I'm not worried about that I'm not super that way at all but fairly clean so that it's put back exactly where it needs to go and then this is the really tricky part okay this one you do have to be careful because you can cut yourself on that triangle that's in the center. You have to remove all of this excess clay from that little in piece. And then you want to make sure that there's no clay inside the holes, no clay on side the bolt on the bolt. And then you want to remove the little triangle die piece and immediately put the butterfly screw or nut, excuse me, back on the bolt. Because once we lose this butterfly, we can't use the inside piece until I go and get another one. And then I have to take this with me because then I got to get it to fit right. And so we need to be really, really careful that we don't lose any of the parts. And again, this doesn't have to be super clean. I'm not worried about that, not super clean, but this has its place and it's been drawn on there so that it helps you Remember where it goes. The little triangle goes back on its spot. And this is this. And then all you have to do um, is there is going to be some clay in here. This was my feathering knife. Okay. So you're going to want to take your feathering knife and just kind of scrape the inside here. And again, I'm not looking for perfection, but there is a bit of clay on the inside, and that'll flake off, it'll dry and flake off um, when the next person uses it, but if it's pretty clean when they get here, then they get to start right away, they don't have to worry about cleaning it. You can just see that it just takes a couple extra minutes and a couple extra focus, and I think that's pretty good, okay? So then, if you don't mind, please put this bar in towards the wall so it's out of the way. And then you just rotate this back to where it goes, and you are all set, okay? Back exactly the way it was when you found it, okay? Extruder 101, I would love to, for you guys to use this and have fun with it.